Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I'm going to begin by addressing a few comments that people made. First of all that the inclination should be in the second orbit tab. Um, oh okay so there there's the inclination alright. So I did not know about that. I didn't realize these tabs actually did something useful. <laughs> well live and learn uh, again a new feature. Anyway uh, new for me anyway. Uh, so, okay, so that I now know. And then uh, you should be able to level up Sidwise and Daftry in the mobile processing lab in the Dres base. Okay, well, let's see. It's a little bit late uh, because, uh, of course, we've deployed this stuff already. But let's go over to the mobile processing lab. Okay, grab. Oh, I. I, I it, it, uh oh, uh oh, board. Uh, you, you're knocking that thing around. That's not good. Okay. Level up crew. Oh, okay. So that too I did not know. All right. So we've leveled up Sidwise. We might as well. Uh, well, we'll get Sidwise add him back to the pod and then level up Daftry. So EVA. Oh, oh, that's awkward though. Can we, like, redeploy the panels? I don't know. I'll leave them be. They're providing enough power. And, uh, yes, so I can impact something into the surface for the seismometer, but I don't have anything to impact right now. Somebody uh, suggested using the atmosphere of Joule to slow down. I don't know what the heating effects are like in stock anymore as far as entering Joule's atmosphere, but I was too nervous that things would explode in that case. So I didn't think that that was a particularly good idea. Of course, I thought of air braking, but without any uh, heat shielding, I didn't think it was a necessarily great idea. Okay, no, we'll just use the jetpack. There's no particular reason why we'll be leveling them up uh you know maybe i should leave daftry here hmm well uh, daftry yeah maybe we should leave daftry here with the science lab maybe we should just leave both of them here with the science lab to do the science does daftry's level increase the amount of science we get from the science lab so let's take data okay so we got that data to work with I don't think we've got a new EV report or anything. Let me just take stuff just in case I happen to forget in my excitement. I guess there's no contract reason to bring them back, so if we can get science out of it, maybe that's for the best. So um, start research and review data. That's yeah, I guess we'll just put it in the science lab for now. Eventually we'll get enough data out of it. That we should just transmit. We can get another EV report from um, the other Kerbal. Gosh, I forget their names so easily. Uh, Sidwise. So yeah, let's just transmit that one. I think that's a duplicate surface sample. Anyway, we're almost full up on data here. And we're getting 17 science per day. So, Sidwise is an engineer. Does Sidwise help with the science rate per day if I put Sidwise in the science lab? Let's find out. So, I'll get another EV report here. Oh, that doesn't do anything though. Well, it might do something if we put it in the science lab. Alright, so now we've got an extra person in the science lab, but um, let's just level up crew. Okay, leveling up Daftry increases the science rate, but Sidwise is not increasing the science rate at all. So that is the situation. The EBA report we can't put in. Okay, so that was useless. All right, so Daftry at least needs to stay here. Sidwise could return, but we don't have a mechanism for that yet. Let's focus on returning the crew from Jewel, which we actually need to do in order to fulfill uh, the Melrick mission. We don't need to bring anybody else back from Jewel, but right now we're a little bit short on crew at Kerbin, so we can't really do too much without bringing people back.
Oh, we got some science from the mystery goo thing. It said 22 science. And maybe, I don't know if we'll keep getting more. Here, yeah. It's diminishing returns, but it is sending stuff back. Not the seismometer, just the mystery goo one. That's a fair amount, though, if we keep getting it. We need to get Kerbin behind Joule by 48 degrees. So it's going to be a little bit of time. Oh, maybe it's done. Yeah, I think it's done. Okay, just eyeballing it. That looks maybe like 48 degrees to me. But we actually need to... It's a little bit inconvenient because we need to shoot it back this way. And that means from its apoapsis side, so that's not great. Basically right around here. Ooh, well... See, now that's uh, too much. We might want to get some help from some moon or another. I mean, we're still in orbit around Jule like this. Okay, we're going to need to hit a moon and then get flung out. In just the right way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tylo's is sending notice right there. I mean, that's an encounter, but it's not a good enough encounter. Well, that's a boost. We can see that that's boosting us up after we spend 700, though. Okay, that looks like it's on escape, but is it in the right direction? Not super duper, really. We can get Tyler to boost us up, but we can't reliably force it to boost us up in exactly the right way. But okay, let's say we got it to give us an escape, but that's a very radial escape. Oh, uh, that's definitely not what we want. That's a double encounter. What is going on? We re-encounter Jewel in 142 years. <laughs> We can't wait that long, but if we re-encounter Jewel in 142 years, it'll fling us in the right direction. <laughs> and uh, we'll end up with a lower sun periapsis. That's fancy. Okay, so let's say we're in interplanetary space and we want to get back to Kerbin. Uh, okay, well that's getting pretty close. How much is it costing? Ah. Uh, that's all of our Delta V. I don't know if that's a good thing to do. Maybe we can just do it in the Joule system here and go the right way. Let me see how much that costs. Oh, well, there's an encounter. So let's just see our Delta Vs here. First, we boost up 668 to Tylo. Encounter Tylo at 442 kilometers. Um, that's too much, isn't it? Uh, so 144, uh, it's really close. That's 2,419, and we've got 2,483. <laughs> I still don't know how hot we'll be coming in. It could be very hot. Okay, there we have an encounter, but we need more than just an encounter. We need to make sure we're in the atmosphere and everything. No, actually, it's, it was only showing me the first digit. It's actually 24. For some reason, it, it truncates that to 2, but that's actually 24.85. I don't know why it's doing that. That's not nice. Okay, well, so how much is it? Well, 675 first, and then we do a maneuver out here for 1668. That's not much cheaper, is it? 2,343. Well, it's uh, about 70 cheaper, so we'll go with it, but man, all right. <laughs> Focus, and let's wait for the maneuver node, and we better do that right. What we really needed to do was level up our pilots. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, burn. Let's also hope the center of mass doesn't cause this to flip. That's another concern. 
You just stuck that other pot on top. Like, that's just okay. Even so, we're not gonna get a precise, precise match on our Tylo encounter, I'm sure. And then there's that maneuver, and we no longer have a encounter with Kerbin after that, so let's fix. Okay, well, that's probably still gonna change as we pass through Tylo SOI, we'll see. But uh, we'll try and be patient through Tylo SOI, but 1661. And, well, let's see it go. So, fuel's looking nice and big here. We are missing Leif by virtue of our inclination. And here comes Tylo. Okay, 69 kilometer Tylo pass. Did we ever get low over Tylo? I think so. But let me just double check. EB report. Well, just ab above Midlands. It could be specific to the biome. Oh, I should have had Tansy take the crew report and everything, but that's gonna take a while. Take data. No, board. I hope it doesn't get confused by that. Crew report. Okay, now we've got in space near Tylo. Keep. We don't have any other experiments on here, so. All right. So that was our Tylo Pass. Now our exit from the Jewel system. There they go. We have not explored the tiny little ones at all. All in bop. That for another time. Okay, now we're in Jewel Space. Uh, not uh, Jewel Space. Um, Kerbal Space. Oh, we'll fine-tune it after the burn. All right, so we've still got our expected situation, and we continue. Okay, three, two, one, burn. Okay, well, that's as good as we're going to get it like that. Let's see. I, I don't know what altitude to go at, to be honest. Let me caps lock. I mean, 26 has worked out pretty well for us, but 26 might not be enough. Let's see. Let me just add a maneuver here and see how much Delta V would take to capture here. 1300. Now, 26 kilometers is good enough to come back from Minmus with, and that's about 1000 meters per second. And it doesn't cause us to pop up or anything like that. So maybe it'd be all right, but we'll also be coming in faster. It means that we don't spend as much time in the atmosphere. So that's a concern. I mean, as long as we capture first, then we can just pass through again and and uh, come in. But or we can be saved somehow. Uh, so we'll see. Let's get on into, and I guess before we decouple the service module, we can use what fuel we have to slow down a bit. But, yep, we are, I'll just go to a tracking station and time warp there. Okay, approaching Kerbin SOI here. And we are in 26 kilometers. Is it still a good number? Hmm... I mean, it could cause us to have really, really serious heating. I can't see Kerbin anywhere. Um, so, oh, there it is. So that's a problem. I mean, just for reference, when entering Earth's atmosphere from the moon, we hit the atmosphere at about 60 kilometers. So much, much higher because we're coming in very fast. But we, we'd be coming in much, much faster than this too, right? Uh, Entering Earth's atmosphere, it's 10,000 meters per second, so... Yeah. Earth is also bigger, so you spend a lot more time in the atmosphere as you make a pass like that. I mean, this doesn't seem too bad. Nighttime side, though. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to try to use some fuel for braking. Um, so, let me see. Okay, I don't want to raise the periapsis or lower it. 
So we slowed down as much as we could with the fuel on the service module. Now I'll leave the RCS, that's probably not that useful. I should have put the RCS on the pod instead, the little ports, because the fuel is in the pod. We could have still used it if we needed to make minor corrections later on. But, did not think of that. Okay, service module separation. I don't know about this one battery on the side. That might imbalance us a bit. Well, I'm not going to take any chances. <laughs> We're bringing it into command pod. Gives us less electric charge active, but I feel a little bit better about it too. Parachutes are not at the right pressure. Well, full ablator. Let's see what happens. It's getting red. We're not slowing down yet. Now we're slowing down. Service module has exploded. Serious G forces. 7 G's. 8 G's. 9 G's. Oh, Arnard is reaching G limit. But it's coming back down. Okay, looks good at 26 kilometers. Our favorite re-entry altitude. <laughs> Didn't even use uh, most of the ablator so far. Got a lava blader. But it's probably good to keep the blader on just for balance when we're carrying this pod on top. Without that pod, we could probably cut it down to half. Okay, we've got some terrain scattered trees here. And we're on the ground. Recover vessel. 3,256 science earned. We're pretty far away from the KSC, but 55 experience for Arnard, 54 experience for Tansy, and 53 experience for Melrick. Okay. Alright, that's a lot of experience. So, well, let's take a look at the R&D building. Oh, heck, let's get speci specialized control just to... Well, let's just wash out the lower tiers, maybe. No, no, let's think about it for a sec. That's 1,000. Um, we really could use a better relay antenna. So this one is the ultimate mega relay antenna. Let's do that. Ion engine stuff is special. MTM stage. Oh, that's the... These are the parts they made for Be Bepi Colombo. I had made a Bepi Colombo mod of my own. They look about the same. Anyway, um... <laughs> Uh, I don't really need to Bepi Colombo. I don't know if there's any benefit to Bepi Colomboing. A mini RTG. That costs only 10,000. Anyway, um, I don't know if I need an RTG. I don't... Because the system is so small, you still get solar power from way out there. I'll get the engines. Those tanks are nice. I don't need the 5 meter tanks. Yet. Inflatable airlock is curious. I feel like just getting the rapier sooner rather than later would be nice. Let's finish off all the airplane parts. And I wanted the external command chair. These other wheels I'm not sure about and the grip strips. Somebody had been trying to convince me about the grip strips, but I'm not sure about the grip strips yet. Um, the Octo 2 is cute. I like its form factor. But yeah, let's uh, complete flight. And so now we have the rapier engine as well. 
if we so choose to do more airplane things. And so that is how I have spent all my science. Well, not all of it. We time warped so much. We must have some uh, still at the science lab. Let's see what the science lab has produced during this time at the Dres base. We also have another one around Eve. Okay, so science lab. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much full up on science. So let's see. Can we transmit that science? Our electric charge is really doing badly, though. Wow, it's also using... Okay, okay, stop research. We need to re replenish our electric charge here. Let's see. Transmitting... Uh, I hope it's on the right setting. Oh no, it's on require complete. Okay, now we've got all the science from the science lab. I'll tell them to continue research. Still got the, most of the data, so no problems. I just want to complete this tier, so let me just get that. All right. So we've completed the 300s, and now we're over here. We will need 3,000... 5,650 to get everything. Let me take a look at our contracts. Now, one thing, we, we need to do asteroids. Class C asteroid into orbit around Gilly. And then it has expand Gilly station. Which is also special. Uh, position a satellite in a specific orbit of Gilly. Well, if we're going to do Gilly things, let's do Gilly things. Uh, new orbital station around Ike. Maybe this class A, but if we're going to do class C, let's just do class C. Okay, let me find a class C asteroid. That's a class C. So it encounters Kerbin there. In 29 days. This one's earlier. This one is coming in quicker. That one's too far out. I don't get a good feeling for that one. All right. So one of these will be our target and we'll grab it and then mine it. We're going to have to use it for resources. Hopefully we can use the ore drill and everything. First time we'll be using that and we will send it over to Gilly. That is the plan. But I will save that for the next episode. So this is probably going to be a short episode, but I feel like that is its own thing. So we'll wait till the next video for that one. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.